Well, it is time to get my new car trailer fixed up. So I picked this thing up from a guy that bought it brand new, like less than a year ago. He was on the freeway and got rear-ended with a trailer. So it did some damage to the trailer. I got a smoking deal on it. So it is time to fix this thing up. So the extent of the damage isn't too bad. The rear cross member where all the lights and everything are attached is pretty bent in. It did bend up the ramp mounts pretty good. So those are gonna have to be rebuilt. And then every cross member that the the deck was screwed to it also bent when it bent the rear and then it moved its way all the way to the front cross member which isn't too bad it's only probably bent about an inch it should be pretty easy to bend back so what we're gonna do to start with is get this entire deck pulled off now we may have to cut the rear cross member out to get the deck pulled off because it's so bent up but we need to get the deck off to bend back all these cross members and we're gonna re-weld them and then I just bought a whole new rear cross member it's just a five inch C channel. So pretty simple. We'll have to cut all the holes in for the lights and build new ramp mounts and all that kind of fun stuff, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm honestly looking forward to this. Like I said, I got a smoking deal on it. So by the time we're done fixing this thing up, it should be a brand new trailer again and it should last many, many years. Well, that wasn't so bad. We got the entire deck off. Being brand new, I guess, made the biggest difference. We only broke like two, maybe, I think there's one screw up there, three screws. Usually when you replace one of these decks, you you know break every single screw. So that was nice, uh, but here's the damage. So you can see obviously this rear member is pretty bent. And then this one, that one's good. And then this one, the ramps are tied into, which this is the most bent one just because it is tied into those ramps. So we're gonna cut all this angle off here for the ramp mounts and we're gonna fix that. But other than that, this one, not too bad. Straight, straight, just a little bit of a bend in that one. Straight, straight, straight. And then these front two are a little bit bent. So that is not too bad. I think what I'm gonna start with, honestly, um, while the rear end of the trailer is still sturdy enough to chain to, I think I'm gonna grab a come along and some chain, try to straighten all these cross members out that are bent. All these welds are fine that I welded to the frame. Um, it just, you know, slightly bent. I saw one torn weld back here on that one, yeah, that one right there has got a torn weld. So once we straighten that out, like I said, that's the worst one and we got a ripped out weld. So we're gonna completely grind all that paint off, weld both sides back in.
finished up with this rear cross member. We got the ramp mount built and we got the ramp storage all buttoned up. It's all fully welded in, looking sturdy. So now a couple other things I want to tackle before we start paint, just because we're gonna have more stuff to paint than just this trailer. So first things first, I bought off Amazon just this cheaper trailer tongue box. And actually it's a little bit different angle than the tongue, but it's not a big deal. It actually fits really nice up front. All we'll have to do is add a piece of angle iron for the rear mount just to support the rear of it and we can screw this thing on it should be pretty painless for that and then i also picked up a badland 12,000 pound winch so obviously i'm not going to hand winch stuff on this trailer i'm getting old and lazy so i bought this winch this is going to make loading so much easier so we need to figure out a mount system for that as well and i want it removable i don't want to leave the winch just sitting on the trailer all winter long. I don't want to have to unbolt it every time. So we're going to come up with something clever to drop into one of these stake pockets and make it just basically pin, maybe like a tractor pin, or I'll figure something out to kind of hold it in place. But shouldn't be too bad. I bought some inch and a half quarter wall uh, square tube. These stake pockets are kind of a weird size. They're inch and three quarter by three and a half. And my local steel shop didn't have anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inch and a half quarter wall tube, square tube, and I'm going to weld two of them together. That'll give me an inch and a half by three. And then I may add another quarter inch plate on it just so it's snug in the pocket. I don't know. We'll figure that out once we get that far. Well, one thing's for sure, this winch mount is not gonna fall off. So we got this thing gusseted everywhere on this on this actual mount and then what i did was just because you know this is kind of a long span in between the two frame rails i figured i would stiffen it up so we got these two quarter inch plates here welded in and also i did drill a hole for this pin here that's gonna go obviously it's gonna go from the back just because the toolbox is gonna be in the front but just like that and then put a pin through there that thing's not going anywhere so we are good to go with the winch mount we're good to go with the trailer mount now we need to work on paint so i'm going to go through get this all cleaned up uh get this winch mount ready for paint and then all the inside stuff i just rattle can i mean it's not that big of a deal but all this exterior stuff where it's going to be out in the weather and out in the sun i want to put something decent on it just because i don't want it to you know i don't want it to fade and just start falling off and everything so we're going to get this all prepped out i'm going to put a just a coat of epoxy primer on it and then i just got some single stage black and that black is a you know it's a two-part hardened paint it's an omni paint so it's going to last i mean it'll probably last a lot longer than the paint that's actually on the trailer i'm not sure what they use to paint these things it's a decent paint but it really doesn't i mean over 10 years it starts to chip off and fall off but either way like i said i want to put something decent on it
Well guys, that's a wrap on the trailer. This thing turned out perfect, exactly what I was going for. The winch mount works amazing, and that 12,000 pound winch will, you know, honestly winch by anything that I could even get close to the load rating on the trailer with. So that's all good to go, I'm happy with it. You know, I don't know how I put off buying a car trailer for so long. I'll probably use this thing a lot more than I think I will, just, just for hauling anything. I mean, it's a 20 foot, when I go to pick up 20 foot sticks of like tube or anything, Thing, I usually stick them through the window in my truck. It's kind of honestly sketchy. Now I'll just bring the trailer, throw them on the trailer. It'll be much easier that way. Well, anyway, I know this video wasn't a typical one. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Hope it kept you entertained. Did a little bit of fab work and fixed this thing up. So we are good to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Once you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>